A common problem that occurs the first time you try to import video into a Windows install of Pro Tools is you might get an error message that says unable to import some files because QuickTime is not installed. Nothing much we can do here, so we can either hit the Enter key, click OK, or click this X in the upper right hand corner. What we're going to need to do is log on to the Apple website and download the latest version of QuickTime. The crazy thing about this is the latest version of QuickTime for Windows is QuickTime 7.7.9 from January 2016. Here we download the installer. We click the installer. It's a routine installer. Just click Next. And it's going to make you agree with their license agreement. One thing about this particular installer is it doesn't allow you to do a typical install. So you have to do a custom install. So go ahead and click on custom for install and it will bring up this window. When I've done Windows installs, just having these first two things active seems to work just fine in Pro Tools for post-production. So when you're ready, just go ahead and click next. And then just go ahead and install. Windows might interrupt the install and ask you if it's okay if QuickTime modifies your system. Just click yes. It doesn't in this case though. So it should take a second. It's going to create new files. Click finish. At that point, just reopen Pro Tools and you might be prompted to turn on your video engine. Just go ahead and do it and Pro Tools should work just fine with picture. 